is. It's a process whereby the public can make an application through the police for information um, about safeguarding children. And that information would include conviction and non-conviction information about people who pose a risk to children. Principally in terms of the pilot, we're looking at risk around child sexual offending, but also looking at, uh, we would look at other types of risks, such as violent offending or adult sexual offending, where that may be putting children at risk. I see. And you mentioned that it definitely wasn't any like Megan or Sarah's law. Can you just explain to me why it's not that and both why it isn't like that and also why it wouldn't be like that? But it's, it's not like that because we know, and the government found out as part of the Child Sexual Offender Review, is that that does not work. It's not a process that makes children safer in the United States where that, where that process exists. We do know that um, here in the UK that um, the management of, of sexual offenders and child sexual offenders specifically is very effective um, and we do know that um, there are very good processes to manage offenders. In the US, because they have a, a law which allows um, the, the total disclosure of details of um, registered sex offenders, that they don't have very high compliance with, um, with that registration process, so they don't know where the majority of their offenders live. In the UK, we do and we know that we can, we can manage them safely because we do know where they live.